My name is Jawad Ahmed. I am 18 years old. I have never seen or touched my dad since I was born because he is in Guantanamo Bay for 18 years for the crime that he never committed. My father was a taxi driver, so the Pakistani government caught him. In 2002 there should be caught Hassan Gul but uh, they mistakenly taken my dad and tortured him for 545 days and now he is in the Guantanamo Bay for 18 years maybe i was like 5 or 6 years old when the red cross came in so we, we they made a call with my dad so i get to talk with him for the first time in the audio call i asked him where are you so i my father right away speak to me that i am in the jail so i was laughing at that time i still remember i asked him why are you in the jail the jail is supposed to you know for the bad people he laughed and didn't reply and the call was very short you know it was for like 15 minutes at that time so it didn't affect me that much at that time when i was like 6 or 7 year old but when i turned 10 to 12 it affect me a lot i used to curious about so i googled it and i found i found it on wikipedia and i went to the dark web when i was like 13 14 years old actually 12 years old so i look for the videos those people who torture and how they tortured and all the things we get in dark web so and i was in those groups so we are they used to you know share those videos where they tortured people and all the things so i do have an idea how they tortured him and all the things waterboarding to you know to kick him or you know uh, uh, playing music that will torture my dad my dad and all the things how they will make miserable his brain and all the things i knew it there was a time that i used to believe that my father has done you know commit crime because that's why he's being tortured because there is no reason torturing a person for no reason i used to cry you know at night at, a, at the room at the corner my no one knows about it i hope my mom didn't know about it and will know about will didn't know about it so i used to cry a lot when it's 3 am 4 am just imagine your life without your father for 18 years what you would be if he didn't even touch you or care for you or provide you his love his money his everything where you would be those things were really hurting me and disturbing my mental peace so i decided not to you know dig up those videos and about my dad I'm at life uh, he's a repeat lawyer who is taking care of my dad case so when i met him i was 16 years old so he told me the whole story about my dad that's the first time i get to know clearly about my dad well the few things i learned after that meeting is that my father is innocent the second thing is that i shouldn't be you know ashamed of my father that he is in the jail so he was telling me that how he used to sell a perfume in makka in saudi arabia he want to have a you know have big restaurant in karachi in where he want to sell his rohingya recipes to the whole world so yeah that's his ambitions and all that's what he want to do after releasing from the Guantanamo bay 
he even told me that he cook for no he's uh, mates in the jail but he can't taste uh, those things because uh, because of the hunger strike his uh, digestive uh, digestive system is uh, ruined or damaged you can say because he can't even digest a apple he, he can't uh, it takes for like 8 to 9 hours to digest his one apple he has been force feeding for like 10 years right now he has been totally damaged they are releasing him right now because he is innocent so like they took his uh, 17 or 18 years of life just to you know do i don't know nothing they tortured him they kept him in a room they do a lot of things you know force feeding and all the things for what i don't know now he's proven that he is not guilty or something so what's the point of doing all these things they spending that much money in to the Guantanamo Bay and torture all the people and taking your all the expenses for what I don't, I don't see any reason other than that that they don't want to accept the fact that they have already made a mistake they don't want they want to show they want to show that we are torturing terrorists and all the things by torturing innocent people how do you feel i feel a little nervous but it's okay I'll be seeing him after 18 years later after searching him all the time I mean searching him on the Google in real life in childhood so I'll be finally meeting with him I don't know when but uh, now I have hope that we will meet him soon